Here's a reminder again that he's still just 22 years old. Paul Mary over the line, lost it in the skates of Andrew Peake, gave it away to Dobson. Look at that pass and they score! Dobson to Engvall and an early one for the Islanders. I guess that's the key to scoring goals is just talk about a player, how wonderful he's been playing. I mean, that, that's the key. The Islanders start to head down. The pass goes a little bit astray, but look at Dobson. He's up on the play, gets gets his feet moving, and then a beautiful pass. And Engvall says, I can handle that one there. But look at Dauber all the way looking. Knows there's nothing at the net, so let me see if there's another option. And that goes off the waist. Four goals now on the year. Three of them have come in the last four games. Here's Barzell picking it up. He's got Horvat too. Barzell backhand save Martin. He's in the net. Where's the puck? I think that's in, guys. I don't know. I have been corrected, Butch. Four times Stanley Cup champion Billy Carroll. Yep. He won one with Edmonton too. Here's Grovarov to the backhand. A save by Varlamov, but a penalty called on the play. Good acceleration on the other side. We, you know, we, we stopped skating there. The back checker, I'm trying to look at that Bo Horvath. Yeah. Big challenge for the uh, for the Islanders. They're trying to set a record tonight. The LA Kings are. Look out. Here in Montreal. Here's a chance for Jenner on a breakaway. Saved by Varlama. Important face-off win, but then Dobson couldn't clear it. It was kept alive by Blankenberg. Dobson and Romanov will try the near side now. This time it gets out. Not deep, not yet. As Wierenski has it pinned right in front of the scorer's table. It's Johnson into the zone for Fantilli. Fantilli as he's falling and they score. It took a hop off the backboards right to Bimstrom. And the Columbus Blue Jackets have tied it. Watch for Monoff as he gets beat to the inside. Now he's chasing it. Islanders are coming back. And, and that's just a, 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 a tough break for the Islanders goaltender. Marlovov as he's big fatuitous bouncing. Holmstrom doesn't get back in time. A similar situation, Butch, I talked about that dot line. Mayfield over for Riley with a path and a shot and a save from Martin. Another big rebound, Brendan. That's what we'll talk about. Shots to the point. Someone should stay a little higher. And Look out. pass. Here's Johnson. Got it across and they score. Adam Fantilli on a broken play gives the Blue Jackets the 2-1 lead. That was an odd man rush after the Islanders went down, had an opportunity. Not able to get back out of their zone. The Islanders have an opportunity. Riley, there's the big rebound. And now look at the Islanders are all trapped. It's a four on on three, basically. Nice passing play by everybody. Johnson and good. He faked the shot and lost the puck a little bit there, didn't he? And then he gets it over to Pantilli. Wierenski gets it back. Watch Johnson. He fanned on it, I think, or did he fake it? I don't know. I think he fanned. <laughs> and it worked out. Broken stick for Fantilli on the play. And Bean will elevate it into the neutral zone. Zizekas delays with that puck, fashing, Clutterbuck alone in front, and he scores! Cal Clutterbuck with a big goal to tie it. This curves him down the middle, a little mistake by the Columbus Blue Jackets. The turnover with quick transition, and take a little look, a little chip pass, and fashing makes the great play, and Clutter. Beats the goaltender on the sticks, low on the stick side. So huge goal for the Islanders as they were getting totally outplayed. Spent, as you mentioned, a long, long time. But Clutter doesn't panic. He gets it on his backhand. Here's Barzell with a minute 20 on the clock. Trying to weave his way through the Blue Jacket defense. Winds its way around for Riley. Open ice for Mayfield. His slap pass. Ricochet. Barzell scores! Matt Barzell had to get rid of it in a hurry, and the Islanders late in the second have retaken the lead. And Martin didn't see that puck as Wierenski was standing right in front of him. The lucky one is Barzell trying to get in, a little stick handling here and there. Good support by Horvat, but watch this puck as Barzell's going to stay out to the wide side. Number eight, watch him. He's going to end up screening his goaltender, and Barzell makes no mistake. Riley... All the way across to Mayfield, and good deflection there for the Islanders. That wasn't a pass. Half of it scheduled here for the second, the other half for the start of the third. Islanders trying to add to the lead. Islanders' power play was two for three on Tuesday night against San Jose. Barzell, Nelson, scores! Kyle Palmieri! 
A tap in set up by Brock Nelson. A beautiful power play goal. Uh, that, that all starts with good hard work along the board for the Islanders with Paul Mary and Two Jackets try to put pressure on the Islanders. Here's the original. Okay, there's the scramble. Islanders stay right with it. Horvat's able to get it back, and here goes around the horn. But watch the pressure. Force the man as best you can. There's the pass, and you pull them out of position. That right defenseman's got no chance to get back. The man alive is not a good play. And Palms, I told you he's going to score tonight. <laughs> and yeah, and... Riley took Bemstrom out of the play, but the puck comes to Johnson. Throw to the front. Riley and Bemstrom are still battling. And Fantelli keeps it. Shot it. Hit off Barzell. Comes to Jake Dean. Dean slips down the boards. Barzell made the play defensively, but it popped in front for Fantilli. He scores. Just a minute and 28 seconds in. A two-goal night for Adam Fantilli. And a one-goal game here in the third period. Uh, that looked like just a bad bounce for, for, for the Islanders, but you now the Islanders down. Everybody's back. And it's just a matter of eliminating your men. So how does Fantilli get all alone in front of the net? How does that happen? And over on your left-hand side, take a little look there. And that's Brock Nelson. And, and Brock's waiting. And... Thompson with a shot right on. And they score! Matt Barzell has put the Islanders back up by two. And there's what you need from the Islanders. You know, a good push. We talked about it the last two, three shifts. Starts with a face-off win and good awareness of where everybody is. Horvat with a little help from Barzell. Shot from Dobson. It's blocked. From... Watch this play. It's beautiful pass by Horvat. He knows he knows Barzy's there. Good puck retrieval by the Outer. So a little hunger, a little more aggressiveness. And that's the Columbus Blue Jacket player. I'm trying to see his number. He shuffled it away right to Horvat. Holmstrom right on him. Johnson. Stolen away by Gauthier, chipped down the ice, Horvat, he's fresh, and he picks up the puck. Look into the net, and a save made. Got his own rebound, scores! Bo Horvat with a beauty. Islanders ahead by three. And that was not an easy goal to score. I mean, Bo coming off the bench had really good speed. Watch Bo as he's coming, going to come off the bench, a little chip play, and there he goes right down the middle of the ice. Has no angle. He's below the dot, but quick rebound. Watch where he shoots that from. Yeah, I mean, that's about a foot off the, uh, maybe a foot from the goal line. That's really impressive, but you're right. Like, there's no angle there at all. Do it on the backhand. Yeah, that, I mean, there just wasn't a lot of room for air, but goal scorers are supposed to be able to score those goals, I guess. Well, he's done it for the eighth time this season. Barzell thinking about wrapping it in front. They score! With two goals in 20 seconds. Well, there's some happy fans now, Brendan. <laughs> Islanders have exploded in this third period. Back play in that third period. And Barzell, Horvat. Horvat knows exactly what Barzell is going to do. He's got the stick down on the ice. Throws it out there. No chance for, for, for the goaltender. Didn't even look. He did not look. He knew that Horvat was going to be going to the net. They gave up an early goal to let Columbus get within one. And then they responded in a big way. They score the final three goals of the game. Pull away and beat the Blue Jackets 7-3.